I have um, a short list for you today of all the things that we've been doing in Parks and Rec. Um, in Parks Maintenance, um, the Parks employees did a great job this year keeping up with the playground inspections, and they're still doing those weekly, um, preparing the fields for play and all of that. They also put up the Christmas decorations for us, and um, myself and Bob took down the tree in Santa today. We still have to do the Christmas lights. But other than that, that's all taken care of. And the trash is being picked up around the parks and in the Tuck building for the ongoing programs that we have there. And they picked up all the trash barrels in the different parks and in the parking lots for the season. In the parking lots, Victor DeMarco and the parking lots crews worked hard again this past year and are gearing up for a March start this, this 2016. In the lots last year, we made $585,376.86. I don't know how that 86 cents got in there, but we had a great year in the parking lots this year. For recreation programs, we're gearing up for the spring and summer sports and are having our first meeting with softball leagues in the near future. We had one of our best camp seasons ever last year, and we're starting the preparations for camp again this year. The K-2 sports program is underway, and we are now in the third phase of a five-phase program. We had our senior citizen club lunch, holiday luncheon, as well as a senior's Christmas turkey dinner. Both were very well attended and enjoyed. Art with Mrs. A has just finished for the season, and now we've got a new program starting up um, January 19th. We had a great New York City day trip on November 21st, as well as the Portland Symphony uh, Magic of Christmas on December 12th and a Freeport shopping trip on November 18th. We've set up trips to Dancing in the Streets for March 30th and Disney on Ice 100 Years of Magic on February 21st. Um, both of those are in Boston. We also have scheduled a number of trips to the North Shore Music Hall for the summer, including Funny Girl, Mary Poppins, Singing in the Rain, Spam a Lot, West Side Story, and A Christmas Carol. Men's basketball is starting and will continue through the school year. We have a number of ongoing programs for the seniors running right now um, that we're taking registrations for, which include the bingo. We have Bone Builders, which is actually waitlisted. We have Bridge, Hampton Walkers, and we have a couple yoga classes. We have scheduled the Hampton Rec Ski and Ride program. However, we have canceled the first two weeks of the program due to the weather. Not much snow going on. The local league, which is our high school rec hoop league, is up and running this year, and we have six teams, which is the most that we've ever had, which is great. Even when this it used to be a travel league, and now it's just in-house, so it's doing really well with that. We implemented our holiday events, which included the tree lighting and the Christmas parade with Experience Hampton, and then on December 14th and 15th, the tour of lights. And so we're just moving on, preparing for all of our stuff. We do have a couple more that I forgot to put on the sheet. We have, a, we have set up a parkour, an intro to parkour, which students train to develop strength, speed, endurance, precision, spatial awareness, dynamicism, and cre creativity in order to be as fluid, functional, and liberated as possible in physical movement and to overcome physical obstacles. And we've scheduled that for our uh, February vacation activities, and that's $150 for kids ages 6 through 12. And um, let's get moving yoga is starting up again on Wednesdays. And then we also have the Connected Elephant, which is uh, connected to the me, teaches girls how to play att pay attention from the inside out, helps regulate emotions in a work-filled and sensory overload, pressure sports in school. Classes include instruction, meditation, and activity, ongoing tools for regulation, positive self-awareness, and stress reduction. And that's starting in January as well. And that's for girls grades three through five. We also have one trip that um, Renee just set up. It's also to Boston. It's for the Monster Energy Supercross. Supercross is an indoor bike racing and a newer version of motocross, the sport's original form. The track takes all the exciting obstacles of outdoor riding, jumps, turns, and bumps, amplifies them, and puts them in an easy view of spectators. So that trip's going to be April 23rd of 2016. And that's at Gillette Stadium, and that's $120 per person. And that is all for right now. Questions, Mr. Wardell? Yeah, um, wow. Diana, you do a great job. You have a lot of activity going on for the kids and stuff, and a lot of activities. The uh, 
the holiday, the tree lighting, and, and the you know that you guys participated in in the, in the uh, Christmas parade were great for the town. Great. Yeah, it was great weather this year. It was too. great weather, and there were a lot of people there at the uh, tree lighting. I think it was well attended. It was really good. Um, the park course, what was that again? Honestly, I think I'm too old to know what this really is, <laughs> but. Um, Well, if I could find it. Parkour. Intro to parkour. Students trained to develop strength, speed, endurance, precision, spatial awareness, dynamicism, and creativity in order to be as fluid, functional, and liberated as possible in physical movement and to overcome physical obstacles. I think it's sort of a... And where is that going to take place? That's going to be at the Hampton Academy Lower Gym for ages 6 through 12. I think it's sort of... A, obstacle course-ish, but it's also <laughs> yoga it. Like, I think it takes that all together. Put some moving and bending and yeah. stretching in. Sounds really good. Yeah. I mean, you do a great job. And the, uh, the the parking lots were great this year? Parking lots were stupendous this year. They were up this year? Mm -hmm. And you're going to start early again next year? And yeah, I can't believe we're starting in March this year, which is the earliest ever, I think. Super. Thank you. Mr. Bridal. Oh, it was an excellent report. As always, uh, Parks and Rec does do an excellent job. I was I was amazed at the amount of people at the tree lighting. I know. Uh, that was probably what, I've done it now for a number of years, and that's probably the best community support I've seen in a long time. Had to do with the weather. It was a nice night out, but yeah. it was uh, it was still. And, and I, I see that at every every one of your events. I see they keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and and that goes to uh, a great staff. And, Thank you. And uh, great people that you have working for it and doing it. So thank you. Yeah, I think we have a lot of uh, a lot of people are doing some of our things traditionally now. It's like a tradition to go to these things now. So that's really great too. Thank you, Mrs. Wolsey. Lights all set for softball this year. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Excellent. It's good to be on this end of the project. Yeah. Mr. Bean. Great job as usual. Nothing, sir. Thank you. Yeah. We really appreciate it that you uh, do such a great job. We hear a lot about people taking co um, part in your events, and it's always positive. Thank you. Have a nice evening. All right. Thank you. You too.